morning hello and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video guys and a brand new month hello may where has this year gone <laughs> it's flying by i am just getting ready this morning i've got a little event to go to in manchester so i thought i would bring you along with me and just vlog today see what we end up getting up to and i'm just well i've done my makeup and i'm just going to add a few curls into my hair i washed it last night but i'm going to keep things fairly kind of like more natural looking and by doing that i'm using my creative curve wand as opposed to my oh that's my phone my soft curl so i'm gonna get on with doing my hair i'll show you what it looks like when it's done but essentially i do it the same way i do my other with my other colors i just take small sections and with this, there's no kind of clasps shut, so you just have to wrap around and hold it. So I'll be back with you in a second, once it's all done, to show you what it looks like. And just like that, we're done. So yeah, as you can tell, it's quite bouncy in certain places, then straighter at the ends, because you kind of leave the ends out a little bit. Just more beachy, it will settle a little bit, but I'm going to clip it up probably, or just hold it back and stop playing with it for a sec because i have had a parcel arrive which i wanted to share with you before i left and it is from halara and if you guys have never heard of them before i have mentioned them a couple of times i've actually been a paying customer as well my yoga girl sophie who comes every week to do like a at home yoga with tom and i she also recommended halara leggings for working out however they do do loads of other stuff as well so as much as I love them and I've got a big selection of them already, I do also have some new things that I wanted to unbox and share with you today. They have just arrived. I am all set to do a big trial with you and show you the fit and everything. But I also just wanted to mention the fact that I have a discount code with them. Freya20 will get you 20% off regular priced items on their website, which I will leave linked below. I'll leave the links to all these items that I share with you in the description box along with that discount code so that you've got it there for reference. So without further ado, let's do a little try on, shall we? Okay, the first two items that I wanna share with you are firstly these leggings. Now, I've never tried these leggings before. They are new to me. Buttery soft, like I'm literally like this because they're so soft. And they've got a kind of shaping and piping detail and it goes down the leg to make them really flattering and also across the waistband as well. Their waistbands on their leggings are so thick and I wouldn't say supportive in that they're restrictive because I'm actually not a fan when you get a really supportive legging where it's kind of a compression one. I find that too uncomfortable. I like them to feel like a second skin, which is exactly what these feel like. And again, buttery soft. This is the top as well that I live in. I've got a couple of other colors and I wear these to running and obviously just like as under tops for like layering little crop tops but yeah i would run in this i have other colors and this is a new color that i've got it's like a powdery blue really pretty but i run in this without a bra it's got built-in padding the straps as well are like the perfect length for me um to like stay up nice and supportive so yeah i go for a run in this top no problem and I wear pretty much everything from Halara in a medium, and I'm a UK sort of 10, size 10, even what our sizing sizes these days. I mean, they're all over the show, but I would say for the most part, I opt for a medium or a size 10. I'm gonna try on some, like a bright, bold color for me, so bear with. I told you they were bold, they're like a bright cobalt blue, these leggings. These are some of the leggings that flare out slightly at the bottom, so nice and comfortable for if you're just doing yoga, something like that. And also, I have a hoodie, a grey hoodie. It's from Anina Bing, and it's got the writing across the front in this exact colour, so I was after some leggings to match. These flare leggings I have already in black, a couple of pairs, and wear them quite a bit, so that's why I thought I would try out a new colour, try out something a bit different for me. And then this long sleeve top, look how nice and long the sleeves are honestly so nice and I have just tucked it under this bra that I was showing you before just for a more cropped fit but if you want to untuck it it's a really nice um really nice length it's not too long so that with leggings again on a on a run when it is a bit breezy and a bit cold god I can't get over the fabric it is so 
soft. I never usually wear long sleeves and I feel like I'm really loving this one. Okay, I've just slightly lowered you for this one. These are the Halara jeans. They're kind of a hybrid between a jean and a legging. I'd say more so a jean than a jegging, but they are a very comfortless. Then they don't feel like you're wearing jeans. Let's just say that. These are the ones that I went for. They're kind of like a charcoal black. Well, no, they're black, let's be honest. I don't know where I'm getting charcoal from. And they are quite slim fit on the thighs, but then they go out into a sort of straight leg finish. So just a very typical pair of jeans that I'll probably even wear today. But I first heard Fleur de Force talk about these. Fleur, um, if you know her here on YouTube, she is a mum and she was saying how the ultimate kind of mum jean she loves is from Hilara. So as much as I loved Hilara for their leggings, I knew that when I'd heard her talk about them, I thought I'm gonna to have to try the jeans as well. And I am so impressed. Again, this is a medium. Yeah, you can't see any kind of gaping at the back there really. So yeah, but they don't feel tight or restrictive. Honestly, they, they just don't feel like jeans. I also got this top, I'm not gonna show you because it is pretty much a bra. So I won't show you one, but it is again, that kind of slinky type fabric. This one does have removable cups, which I tend to wear for the first time. And then once they've been in the wash, I just leave them out. I've got a couple of, again, more wildcard different options from Hilara for me. So let's try the next one on. <laughs> I feel like a lot of you are gonna go, whoa, what is that that you've got on? Because that is not typically anything I would wear. But a friend of mine had this on recently during, I've done a couple of sound baths recently. Um, which is like a kind of sound therapy type session. It's not yoga, but I would wear the same clothes in that that I would for like a comfy yoga session. As soon as I saw this on Hilara, I was like, that would be perfect. If I do any more kind of sound baths or comfy kind of like group meditation type things, just this harem style bottom just makes you feel like you've got like nothing on. <laughs> just so, so comfy. I thought this one was a dress, but it's not. It's again, the kind of harem bottom styled uh, trousers of a jumpsuit. And I love this. I feel like this is definitely more wearable than the gray one to wear outside of things like a sound bath or a yoga session. It's definitely one that I could sort of just wear in summer. It's got really nice, pretty kind of low back that just, does up that you can kind of cinch in as much as you want to be able to hoist these straps up or lower them if you need. Quite a light fabric this one. So this for me, I know it's black and in summer black attracts heat, which isn't great, but I do feel like I would wear this one for just pottering around the house in summer. You know on those days where just anything touching your skin is unbearable to the point where summer heat wave, you don't even want to sit in the sun. <laughs> then this is the kind of outfit that I would just wear for around the house pottering, like I said, comfy, loose, love it. And then the last dress that I've got, it's giving paddle. Do you see what I mean? Just paddle, what do they even call them? Paddle racket in hand, tennis racket in hand. Whenever I wear anything black and white, for some reason I just think of Meredith Blake, parent trap. She wears like black and white workout gear, I think. Um, anyway, yeah, this little kind of sports dress, it is actually a two piece. So you, underneath you get a pair of these kind of like cycle shorts. Again, you don't have to wear together, but obviously just for a bit of protection. I keep saying Lydia and I, we really want to take, the, well, okay. I was gonna say really want to take the boys to do paddle. That's a lie. <laughs> We're saying as couples, it could be quite fun. It's not like we want to take them. I've never done paddle before. Um, but there's a place not too, well, there's actually two paddle places not too far from us. And Lydia's been, her boyfriend Tim plays, Tom's never done it. So couples paddle could be on the cards and this could be my outfit. What do we think? These are all my Hilara pieces though. Of all of these, which was your favorite? Let me know in the comments section below. Check them out, by the links in the description box. And of course, don't forget to use that discount code for 20 which will get you 20% off. Happy shopping. Let me know if you pick anything up yourself. And of course, my faves, the leggings. You guys know I love them. And if I'd recommend anything, it would be them. In 500 feet, turn right onto Whitworth Street West. I have made it to town and I've just seen just a few cars down. Tom's parked here as well. <laughs> Literally like parked a couple of doors down from him. Doors. A couple of 
parking spaces next to him. Anyway, there is a parking attendant, an attendant attendant coming, so I am gonna have to go and get a ticket sorted. But we're here, and I am wearing a. Hold on, let me see if I can do you a better shot. Probably not. Maybe when we stand up somewhere, I'll be able to show you. But this waistcoat and kind of like trench is both from River Island, and they basically got they've got. Uh, a new store well it's not a new store opening they already have a store in Arndale but I think it's had a bit of a makeover so it's kind of in celebration of that they've just invited I think a few people down just to have a look see and they sent me this um outfit they did actually send the this waistcoat which loving waistcoats by the way at the moment they have the matching trousers which are like a wide leg really nice kind of high-waisted just simple trousers and they've got a bit of like ruching or like sharing at the back so that makes them really comfortable but I just figured it's quite cold and I didn't want to be in like just a sleeveless suit because obviously this has no sleeves and I also wanted to wear trainers you know it's like it's 10 30 a.m I didn't want to wear like a full suit but I did want to get it because I definitely will mix and match the two and wear them obviously together as well so yeah that is the update I'm gonna head on in now he's literally about to take a photo of my car so I'm gonna have to go and sort this out he's gone now I can chat I had an idea shall I prank Tom and rather than message him saying oh I'll park next to you because I'll probably leave before him as well should I write him a little note and pop it through? Mind you, I don't have his key, so I can't put it in the car. I'd have to attach it to the car and see if. What should we do? Should we do like secret admirer, kiss, kiss, <laughs> and see if he tells me? If he doesn't tell me, then I will not be happy. What should we write? I'm, I've got a pen. <laughs> But when I think about doing stuff like this, this is, mum, if you're watching, I feel like this is just you all over, your kind of humour. It's not even funny. It's cute though, right? I have a raffle ticket. Would he spot that if I did a little note on that and tucked it under his windshield? Or shall I do him a message that is actually like one that he knows would be me? Or shall I put baby reindeer kiss kiss <laughs> if you know you know let's see if he tells me about it later baby reindeer <laughs> let's head on over to the event before i end up being late just nipped to the loo before going in so i thought i would show you my outfit in this little mirror so yeah the waistcoat i love and definitely paired with the trousers lovely outfit and then i really like this crop linen trench as well from River Island. Black jeans, beige trainers, YSL bag, let's go. Come closer, dance for me. Easy tiger, easy, let your hair down. Come closer, let me see. All your million faces and all your million mistakes You don't need to hide Come closer so that we can be Ooh, We have a fitting room assistant. You can see item. That is so clever. I've just hung up my items and it's recognized what they are how they've styled them, that's so cool. Anyway, it's a little bit quieter in the changing rooms because they've got like live bands, DJs, it's a pretty hectic and the store is actually opening to the public in literally, is it half 11 already? It can't be. Okay, well now. So I need to get trying on and see which of these items I'm going to take home. As you can see, I'm enjoying the waistcoat trend at the moment. So I'm going to try this one on at £38 in a cream. Um, in fact, rather than me talk through them with you hung up, let's actually try them on. And this is the one that I picked up 
online that they sent out to me very kindly to wear today. It's a beautiful kind of sage green colour. Again, like I said, I've got matching trousers. Let's get trying on. So this is the cream waistcoat. Absolutely beautiful. It looks a little snug here, but it's because of this tag that needs removing. It's just pulling it slightly. But this is a size 10. It fits me perfectly. Wear with jeans for a more casual look. You could go with a little... Uh, well, you could go matching with the trousers and have for a suit tailored look. A skirt as well, I think. These waistcoats, honestly, are so versatile. And I'm the sort of person that, especially in summer months, spring, summer, when it gets warm, I like to have no sleeves. I'm the sort of girl that would rather wear trousers with, like, strapless or sleeveless. Or, like, vests like this, rather than a long sleeve and get my legs out. So, yeah, really happy with that one. And definitely going to pick this one up. This is the next top that I got. I'm just going to tuck it in just so that you can kind of see how I would wear it. Just tucked in casually like that with some jeans and just the material, the satiny kind of material makes it a bit of a dressier feel so that, you know, if you want a jeans and a nice dress, nice dress, <laughs> nice top outfit for drinks, maybe throw on some heels with it, nice belt and crossbody bag. Um, really, really pretty but simple capsule piece. Love this colour as well. I'm just obsessed with greens. Uh, so I think I might be picking this one up as well. We will see. It does need, um, my bra straps would need, you know, one of those little butterfly clips that I like to use. I'll link them below if you don't know what I'm talking about, but it just means that whenever you wear a halter top like this or vest, it just clips your bra straps together at the back so that you don't have them on show. But other than that, love it. I also picked up this kind of off-shoulder linen dress which is beautiful. It has a bit of detailing with it having like a waist detail here. It's kind of cinched in here where it zips up at the side. However, it is a little snug around the kind of like just the bum area. Well, actually, no, it does fit okay. I just don't know if, I just don't know if I would wear it. I also, it's double lined as you can tell but only to there. So I maybe would have preferred it if it had been double lined all the way to the bottom. So I think I'm going to leave this one. But the shoes that I've got on with it, I think I'm going to take. They're just a really simple kind of Chanel dupe. Well, Chanel inspired, I want to say. Little kitten heel. Just for, you know, where if I'm wearing like wide leg trousers and I want to look like I'm wearing a heel. But I'm not. <laughs> like the dress, just the fit is just a little bit off for me personally. So I will leave this one. Last but not least, I've got this bodysuit, which is the perfect fit up here and also a gorgeous material. The only negative I'd say is that, can you see there, the lining stops under the bust. I would have preferred it again had it have been all the way to the bottom because you can see that line, which is a real shame actually because I would have picked this up had, had it have... Um, oh, I am torn. I just, I'm annoyed that it doesn't go all the way to the end because I love the fit of it up here. And I thought I'd just show you with high-waisted jeans, that gap that you can see. They've got it in black. Now, you wouldn't be able to see the black, would you? And I don't know if they've got other colours, actually. If they do, I'll leave it linked. I'll leave anything I can linked in the description box. Gorgeous fabric. Gorgeous colour as well. Um, but I might have to leave this one. Apparently, they are doing coffees to order in the menswear. So, I'm heading down here just to have a quick look. Grab myself a cover, but I've got a few bits, so I'll show you what I picked up when I get home. We're all done at River Island now. I need to put my jacket back on, actually, it's a bit cold. But I thought I'd pop into Soft Strain Green, which is like a little homeware shop, which I talk about all the time because I love it that much. Uh, kind of like Scandi vibes, but yeah, really, really pretty knickknacks and trinkets. So I'll show you some new in bits that I've spotted. I've actually already got one of these, but these little honey spoons are only £1.34. Good for the aesthetic shop, getting some honey drizzled on your breakfast. And how cute is this milk jug for summer? £4.94. These mugs, they're £4.70 each and they're like a really good size for a flat white. In fact, I might get one of those. Not that we need any more mugs, but I'm actually obsessed with buying stuff like this. And Tom really likes them when they've not got any handles. So that might end up in my basket. 
They've also got the matching bowls and plates there as well. They've got these pizza stones, nine pound, and it's just literally a circular stone base that I feel like would actually be quite nice as a kind of uh, display tray. You know, if you wanted to pop a um, pop it on your island with a big vase on top or a little candle and salt and pepper pot. They're only nine pound sixty or They've got baking stone, which is basically the same material, but just in a rectangular shape. I have shown these a few times on my channel, but if you are new to my channel, these wooden spoons are amazing. I love them. I've got them in all my kind of jars for rice, bath salts in the bathroom, wherever really. And they are £3.23, but you can get the lighter coloured wood if you prefer. Or I personally prefer this kind of darker mango wood colour. They also have the tiny little baby ones at £1.78. They are so much smaller, but they're so cute. I saw her up on the hill. Wow, this is a throwback. Who remembers doing these kind of ironing beads? Oh my gosh, what a nostalgic memory. I want to look at all the different shapes. God, that is really a throwback. I'm just outside White Company and look, they've got one of those rustic benches as well. I just think they add so much texture and detail to the room. So, and it's gonna draw me into the shop. Love these little ballet flats that they've got. I've not really jumped on the ballet shoe trend, but I really like the material and the colour of these ones. And the actual shape as well, that kind of square toe. Love them. I also love this toweling fabric that they've got in this set. It's the shorts and sweatshirt. Really, really nice. I've seen online they've got a new range of homeware that they're bringing out. I've yet to see it in stores but it's quite affordable and it's basically like a seagrass, um, I don't even know how to describe it, it's like a seagrass, they do like a tray, a vase from about 15 pounds and they look lovely. But yeah, they. I think online as well it says awaiting stock, so they're definitely brand new in, but for now, always see their rustic napkins and love them. And they're, little urns and pots that they sell for 70 pounds is so nice as well again little rustic antique stool just adding a bit of detail i just think honestly i'm in my element whenever i see anything rustic old looking these i've not seen before they are lovely how much are these bowls wow that's heavy 40 pounds for that imagine that in a nice big bathroom with just literally a bar of soap a waffle towel thrown in and a, some kind of like loofer or brush just sat for display, but also practical reasons too. Love it. This is the wreath that I have if ever you guys are interested. I actually have the bigger one. I always call it Gypsophila wreath, but it's not, it's dried linium, I think it's called. But they now do a smaller one too, which is very cute. Drink every time I say cute in this video. <laughs> Keep hearing myself saying it over and over. Ooh, new. These candles that they've got are new. They've got one in sleep. Calm, spa, nourish. Three wick ceramic. On her way to the mill. Proud and all loud. But where are you now? There is a new Blank Street open on King Street and I've never been to Blank Street before, even though we've got one in Piccadilly. And everyone raves about this matcha. I think I've tried matcha once. And I don't know if it, I liked it or not. So I kind of want to get one to try whilst we're here. Is it the blueberry matcha people like? Oh, they do a white chocolate one as well, I think. Let's ask and see what they recommend. We meant to mix it, I'm not sure. Ooh, I taste the blueberry, that's for sure. I'm actually thinking I might have to bin this. <laughs> I 
don't think matches for me. I'm trying to like it. Not sure. We're Valari. We're back. Just popped into Uniqlo to pick up some basics. I've seen online that they have these vests which basically have like inbuilt support. They're looking very Lululemon. Um, I did actually pop into Lululemon but I didn't get anything. But yeah, these are very much like the Align and the built-in, it's like a built-in, not removable pads. They're actually built-in so you don't need to wear a bra with them. So. Yeah, picked up a couple to try on. These are the colours they had. I would have liked white, but never mind. They do have, if I slide these along, they do have like a ribbed vest with the padding in and then also these kind of like bandeau tops in black and white which are adjustable as well. And then also they've got some lovely summer dresses in. I know we're a bit early, but um, yeah, I thought I would just pick them up when I saw them because they're like a linen blend and for linen they're really quite affordable so that's the back of that one really pretty and then this one's a bit more of a creamier color it's a bit snug in here so I'll quickly try these on and then if I do get anything I'll um I'll show you when I get home you might be able to tell where I am from the uh surroundings but I've just stopped off by uh five guys i've just got myself a little kids cheeseburger just a little one no fries or anything um just to have a little bite to eat for lunch and then i'm basically right by the car park here so i think it's i think i'm done i'm all shopped out quite a bit to show you when we get home so um yeah but otherwise a lovely little day i've been getting my step count in as well seeing as i've not walked the dog today he's in daycare so yeah feeling ready for a sit down back home we've made it home i can see the builders are cracking on or gardeners i should say been shopping as you can tell okay shall we sit down and share with you one second let me go grab because i've just made a coffee and um, well at least now i know that blueberry matcha for me well it's not for me i ended up getting rid of it i really just didn't like it is there anyone out there that also doesn't understand the matcha hype i just don't get it anyway i have made myself a coffee much better lovely event at river island thank you to the team for having me and inviting me down they did give me a little voucher to spend so i did end up getting the waistcoat love this and then i got the shoes again for summer i just think these are going to be so handy slightly dressing up an outfit and then i went for the top the green satiny cow neck kind of Top. I could do with a wardrobe cull actually. I feel like I need a cleanse, a wardrobe cleanse, but not only a cleanse, a bit of a switch out as well to pop away any kind of real, real wintry bits because although it still feels a little cold, it doesn't really get below, I mean, touch wood, <laughs> famous last words, it doesn't really get into the single digits. I feel like we're now into the sort of 14 degrees plus weather so i think the wintry wintry things can go away now and then oh okay we've also got some other bits within this bag i didn't realize that we've got the sundown spritz blood orange organic wine and soda and then some earrings these are beautiful i was having a look at their jewelry actually they've got some really nice things and then one more thing within this oh god the breakfast options that they had looked amazing, but no one was really eating them. And I feel like people were taking videos and photos and stuff. So I'm sure the team at River Island ended up having a feast because no one was really eating it. But I was looking at it going, Phew. some of the things looked delicious. Other content creators out there will understand what I mean by that. Just at these events and stuff, if they say that there's food on, I still would go, let me just get some scissors. Essentially, unless it's a sit down meal, I kind of don't expect to eat the food because, because sometimes, well, more often than not, 
I don't usually end up eating them, especially the type of food they had. They had like big cronuts there or croissants and pastries and cupcakes and it's quite awkward to eat kind of stood up whilst you're chatting to people. So in here there is a little mini cake. This is from Ruby the Cake Artist and it just says oh a brownie slab. Okay so that's everything from River Island and then oh, the sun's just come out. Lovely. So I also popped into Zara and got a couple of things. I did see that the uh oh this is Uniqlo. I saw that Victoria Beckham's got a collab that she's done with Mango and the Mango in the city centre is quite small. Um, I, ha I saw a couple of the things but nothing was really jumping out to me and so I didn't actually pick anything up. I did get this knit vest from Zara. It's not spaghetti strap but very very thin vest strap and then I also got this because I love Zara blazers. My absolute favourite blazers are just by default Zara, not even intentionally. I try other places, but I always seem to gravitate towards my Zara blazers. And this one I thought was quite affordable because some of my other blazers are $79.99. This one was $49.99 in a medium, and it contains linen as well. So good again for the summery months. And it's just a really nice color. A neutral, mauvey, mushroomy kind of greyish I would say. Again I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of that one. Then from Uniqlo I ended up just going with the black vest size up in these because I tried on the small at first and my goodness they're tight. So in a medium these are £19 and then this is the ribbed white version. I wish they did those ones in a white as well actually but I did get the ribs. Now this one I did get in a small. I didn't need to size up in this one and this one was also 19 pounds. When I got to the tilde, one of them was reduced to 15. This one was reduced to 14 pounds and 90 pence. Very similar to the H&M racer style vests and you don't need to wear a bra with them. It's amazing. And then, oh, my battery's about to go. Let me go switch it out before I show you those things. And we're back. But back to it, soft strand. But I picked up that mug that I showed you. And I just really liked it. £4.73 this one was. And then I did get the matching, they called it a, what did they call it? Tapas dish to go with it as a dip sauce thing. Oh, boy, it's dry. Um, or some little olives and nibbles and snacks. Little. Again, £4.73. I've mentioned this before, but I just think it's always nice to, when you see one, buy it. Same with cards. And then you've got a little stockpile that you can go to whenever there's an occasion. You don't have to kind of just last minute get one that you don't even necessarily love. And this bag was 98p. It's got gold kind of foiling to it as well. And then this one's slightly larger. And this larger one was £1.26. Then I got a mini one for 70p. These are good, this sort of size for gift cards. Speaking of occasions, I got these, um, a pack of 15 small candles. They say self-extinguishing, so I'm not quite sure how that works, but they remind me of the ones that I have from Zara Home. I think I've still got a couple left of those. These are slightly shorter, but these on a cake super skinny candles i just love them four pound 56 they had other colors as well i've got a couple more acacia wood uh utensils i've got a little utensils pot on the kitchen shelf and one of our our hard spatula is looking ready for the bin so i decided to pick up this one which was three pound 88 and then i also got this one just to add for a bit of interest £3.40, I'm not quite sure what it is. Is it a strainer spoon? And then last but not least, do I need any more napkins? Absolutely not, but did I get some? Yes, I did. I just loved the color of these ones. They're a really dark forest green. Cotton, linen type. Well, I think they said cotton actually. 70% cotton, £2.08. And, and that's everything. So I do have, obviously with it being the start of a brand new month, can we believe it? I do have a couple of things that I kind of had to one side that I was going to mention as monthly favourites to you. A couple of TV recommendations. I was just messaging a friend, well, a, a group actually. We were talking about um, 
Taylor Swift and the new album and although I wouldn't class myself as a Swifty at all, I mean I like her music but I'm by no means an avid fan. What I have been following and keeping up to date with and I'm obsessing over and my Instagram seems to be flooded with it is Sabrina Carpenter and Barry. <laughs> Can you believe what a cute couple they make? Videos of them at Coachella and stuff and I was just watching those and now my whole feed is Sabrina and Barry. You know what I think we should do? I think we should go and pick up Barney from daycare. I'm gonna put all of these bits away, go and get him, get into some comfies, throw the hair up and then I'll share those with you later on because I do need to get on with some emails and stuff. That's the only problem with getting invited to an event in town it was 10.30 till 11.30 and it's now after three o'clock and I still haven't even looked at my laptop, looked at my emails, done any editing, no work. I mean, I have been filming, but yeah, <laughs> I have some bits that I need to get on with this afternoon. So we'll sit down and share with you those favorites in a sec. But if you haven't already paused this video, go grab yourself a nice cozy drink. And that is what we'll do. And then you can get your Barney fix as well because you'll be able to see him in this video. Just feels so quiet coming home when he's not here. Very, very strange. Help the ones that you could. No glimpse of doubt. dinner this is my first favorites that i had to share with you have you seen mcdonald's now do biscoff biscoff um mcflurries they do do a frappe but it's never been the machine's never been working when i've been um it's been a few hours but i'm still quite full from that five guys so i thought i would just have a little sweet treat and that'll probably do me for tonight to be honest with you tell back home I had just or we'll take this back upstairs finish off my butt flurry with you upstairs and like I said share with you some monthly favorites that I've got number one and then sorry I feel like I'm running around all over the show I just need to get some scissors because another favorite that I wanted to share with you is actually a delivery that has just arrived. Soho Home have some amazing sales on and I was browsing through the website. I actually picked up a friend something as well and decided to get the same for myself. <laughs> this is actually a set that I had seen full price and really liked the look of. So when I saw that they had them reduced, I did pick up a couple couple of them let me just get into them and just to sort of give you an idea some of these were reduced from like hundreds down to 50 40 50 it's the hillcrest range so i've got a set of four pasta bowls you can only get them in sets that is the only thing but this is what the pasta bowls look like they do them in three different colors and it was the green color that was in the sale so if I'm honest with you, the green color is the one that I like anyway. They do have a white, which I would class more as a gray, which I also love. And then did they have, they had like a darker mushroom color, which was also nice, but the green probably would be my first choice anyway. So the fact that it was the green that were in the sale, I thought, oh, I'm just gonna get a set of four. Then I also got a set of four of the side plates and this is what they look like, mugs. <laughs> So this is my first kind of set of mugs. I've got four from the white company and then these four. So if we're actually hosting, then we've got nice sets. Otherwise, I've just got my random favorite kind of mugs. But this is what they look like. They are pretty generous. So that is my favorite sale find this month. A 
couple of other treats as well, food and drink items I wanted to mention. I've been having these with a coffee and these are not for Mr. Barney. They are for humans. <laughs> they are the M&S Extra Cream Custard Cream. So they do the bourbons as well. We've already finished the pack of bourbons. They don't trump my favorite, favorite biscuits that M&S do, which is the chocolate coated custard creams and bourbons. I mean, they're not really a comparison because this one you get like a pack of however many, 12 for 50p, whereas the other ones you only get six and they're two pound 50. So they are a real treat. But if you're just wanting like a box standard bourbon or custard cream, go to the M&S ones for the extra cream because who w doesn't want the extra cream in the middle? And then another find that I picked up just in the supermarket, just in co-op actually, is these mini appetizer cans that you, I think you pick up five for two pounds. And these I've been enjoying in an evening. Sometimes a full Diet Coke can feels quite big to be drinking when I just want a sip of fizzy. So these little cans are perfect. And obviously they've got the Diet Coke versions as well. So you can mix and match. These would be really nice as well in the summer months with a little gin and tonic, but instead of tonic, maybe an appetizer, some kind of appetizer spritz. I do have a beauty favorite, and this is a shampoo and conditioner from a brand called Kerasilk. These were sent to me quite a while ago now, and my shampoo and conditioner that I had in my bathroom had run out, and I just went to my PR drawer, picked these out, not really knowing if I'd like them or not, but and not really hearing much about them, if I'm honest with you. The scent of these, I can I can smell it in my hair, literally a couple of days after I've, you know when you go to the hairdressers if they use a really nice shampoo and conditioner and you can, you smell it in your hair the next day, or a couple of days or whatever. This almost has like a rich, oody scent. This is the color protecting one. A couple of TV recommendations. I know I mentioned earlier Baby Reindeer. We'll see if Tom actually uh, picks up on that. When I went to his car, I was, well, I had this brief moment of thinking, I hope it is his car. <laughs> just not some random stranger that I've just put that note on, but it is. I checked the registration and uh, yeah, so we'll see if he takes note of that but baby reindeer if you've not seen it it's a true story and the main actor plays himself which i just couldn't believe it is quite sad but not in a stereotypical true crime type of sad essentially about the main actor initially being stalked having a stalker and it kind of follows their journey and his life as a result of that encounter I've also started watching the Race Across the World again, which is, I think is that on BBC or Channel 4? I can't remember, but well worth a watch. And also Mammals on BBC One has been good. The Apprentice I've finished. I have seen, is it called Red Eye? That's meant to be quite good on ITV, a new drama. Let me know if you've seen that or any other recommendations that you have, because I would really like to find a good new tv series so yeah let me know but anyway that is going to go ahead and conclude today's video i hope you've enjoyed spending the day with me just a friendly reminder as well to check out halara via the links that i have left in my description box of all of the items that i showed you at the start of today's video along with that discount code freya20 which will get you 20 percent off full priced items happy shopping let me know if you try anything out yourself have a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys